Hello everybody, this is King Tut here and welcome to another video. Now the last video I have shown you how to set up C++ and Visual Studio Code. Now I'm going to show you how to compile multiple files in Visual Studio Code. So I already made my own uh, separate multiple files so that way I don't have to go through the pain of doing it on video. So I'm going to be uploading this to GitHub way before this video gets uploaded. So as you see here, I have I have made a class called cars in the .h file and I have made a constructor and destructor and I even made a void function called printout. And all it does is just going to print out cars rock with yes, two exclamation points. And then I basically include cars slash cars dot h since the cars class, the header file, is inside the folder. And I put in, I made a instance variable called cars c, and then I put c dot printout. So that's pretty much all I did. It's very simple, but this is not the important part of the video. The most important part of the video is how do I actually compile multiple files in Visual Studio Code? Because as you see here, if I were to compile it right now, so to compile it, you go to that icon, the fourth icon down from that Explorer icon, and you run into debug. And as you see here, it should get you an error. And there it is. And I click on show errors and it just shows you the errors under the problems tab. And it says name followed by colon colon it must be a class or namespace name and see how it's undefined and stuff like that. And you guys might be wondering, why am I getting this error? Um, is it my fault? The answer is no, it's not your fault. And honestly, Visual Studio Code is not broken. So what you need to do here is go to the Explorer icon, expand where it says .vs code, and then you go to tasks.json, and that basically shows all the commands, basically all this mumbo jumbo, which are commands. It's, it's intimidating at first, but stick with me. Once I show you how to do it, it's all gonna be easy peasy. So all you need to do is inside the args bracket, you go where it says the quotation mark with the dollar sign and the curly braces that says file inside. You change file and then you press control space and then you type in workspace folder and then put slash dot c p p also don't forget the asterisk before the dot c p p or else it won't work just one asterisk asterisk and then you copy and paste it and then you put dot h just in case if you're going to compile header files outside of the cars folder in in this tutorials folder. So that's basically what it does. It basically looks for anything that is .cpp or .h files and compiles it. Then you copy all of that and I'm using the shortcut control C and you paste it by using the shortcut control V. And then you put in 
cores slash dot cpp and you do the same thing for dot h so what it does here is after after the compiler search for dot cpp and dot h inside that tutorials folder it goes into cores and then it basically compiles the dot cpp and dot h files and then save it and then go to your main file you go to debug icon and then you click on run and debug and everything should work So interesting, it got me a fatal error. So let's go back. Let's see what happened right here. Let's show the errors. And let's go to the terminal. Okay, it seems like they don't like it one bit. So let's try this. Let's try the backslash. And hopefully it should work. It should work. You save it. You go back here, and then you click on run and debug. Let's just support it and then let's go back and let's just take away the asterisk.h file because we're not even going to use it it's not there so probably the reason why here is it's not there so it gives me errors so save it again go back to your main source file and then you click on run and debug It should work this time. And build finished successfully. So no errors, nothing. And it should, it's gonna take, yep. It should run right away. And voila, it says hello world, because I output hello world. And it also says cars rock, which comes from the C dot printout. So there you go. That's how you actually build multiple files in Visual Studio Code. So I hope this video is helpful. And if you find it helpful, and if you really like this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. And also hit the notification bell so when I release new videos, you get notified. And also if you're on Odyssey, you can click the fire button and click follow. And also click the notification button for basically the same reason. So hope you see hope you see you guys to, in the next one. Bye!